Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today we're starting something new. This is a collaboration that I'm doing with Torgi's Arts and Creative Journals. She is a digital artist as well as a junk journaler. And she has created this wonderful series called Mystic Unicorns. And I have printed it out. I thought I would share it with you today. And then maybe if we have a chance, we will make something. Now, I have printed both front and back. This one I made a mistake on. I printed it right side up and upside down. So there it is, right side up and right side up. I have printed these mostly on uh, regular cardstock, although some of it is on a more of a, a strong computer paper. I really, these are really absolutely beautiful images. I like all the swirls. I think this one's one of my favorites, the black and white one. There are lined pages with most of these as well. And I'm showing you, I, I, you can see it's a very large kit. I'll have to count up the number of pages because I don't remember. This is another one that I really like. A lot. I think that's going to be the center of my journal. But as you can see, there are a number of images, and some of them have some specific sentiments. This one says enchanting, and I like the teal in here. Oh, maybe that's my center. Oh, I do like those black and whites. All right, and then, uh, no, that's a different piece that I printed. Then we have a, a pocket and a corner pocket and a tag. And then this I've also printed elsewise. Um, there is a, a postcard and a lot of different pockets. But I also have, hang on. I went and started cutting things up before I, you know, shouldn't have. This one says, be magical. I started putting things together and then I realized I had some things upside down. So these are, are again, upside down pages that I will flip around and do something else with. But there's this really pretty pocket. I'll put it right side up, which I printed on vellum because I thought I'd like to make a vellum pocket. So there's a very large envelope. There's a very large envelope. There is a bookmark, and this was actually attached to this page. So there are bookmarks and other types of things that you can use for tags. This was a set. This is that same set. Hang on, let me set this out here so you can see it a little bit better. Pull all of these out. That's just a couple, some scraps. Oh, my glory, I'm dropping everything. All right, so there are tabs. There are actually four tabs on it. And I didn't cut out this one yet. Um, I'm still, I don't know why I didn't cut that one out, but I didn't cut that one out. These I've already fussy cut, and they're ready to be used as tabs. These are the pockets, and I have cut those out. And this one I chose to cut out and leave the extra little piece around. I know I can cut all the way down, but I might trim that up and use that just as it is. So this is the Mystic Dragons set from Torgi's Arts and Creative Journals. And I'm going to be working on this over the next couple of weeks and creating a journal out of all of these absolutely beautiful pages. So I'm going to take a moment right now and fold these up and then let's put our signature together. Okay, I am back and I have folded up all my signatures and I did use some walnut stain on the tops of a few of these only because my printer, when I flipped them over, I did, didn't always have my paper lined up, and so I ended up with a tiny little bit of a white line up at the top. 
but Walnut Stain took care of that just fine. I have also taken out a couple of papers. I have some regular plain coffee dyed. I have this really pretty lacy coffee dyed and I have a pink. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and start putting this together. I think the first thing I need to do is determine exactly which one I want for my center. And I, I'm really leaning towards that one, although it's not the heavier cardstock. I don't know, that's on the table. I've got a whole bunch of these that I really... Oops, that one's upside down. Okay, so that one has to go aside. And... Oh, I like that one too. Okay, I'm thinking this one will be my center. And then I can put these two like this. So I guess the next point is which one becomes my cover? Which one? And do I even want to use any of these? I may not use these. I don't know. So which one becomes my cover? Not that one. Not this one. Not this one. Maybe this one. And don't don't forget, I can always reprint. Okay. I have to think. Oh, that one's nice too. So I want I need the cover to be on something heavier. So maybe this one is my cover. I need it to be on a print on a actually, you know what? Maybe this will be my cover and I'll just cover that one up. Because this it doesn't matter. This is omnidirectional. And so is this. So it's really only this piece. So if I do this one as the cover, and I do you two as do you as the, the center. Okay. I like how you two fit. This is always the hardest part, is deciding exactly what goes where. So if I do... This one has more of a... Oh, you know what? You know what? I have those other pieces. Where did I put them? Hang on. Pausing. Figured it out. So what I want to do, because I really like this as the cover, but this is upside down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just temporarily washi typing these two together until I get everything set. I am going to make pockets. This is really old washi taper. So nobody's going to see the insides of these because I will make maybe a, a front-loading pocket, a side-loading pocket, whatever. So we're going to make pockets out of those. So I don't lose the images and I don't lose the paper. Because if you know me, you know I don't like to lose paper. So I have this one. I have this one printed twice. So I don't, I could put this here and then it still looks like that. They still match up. And nobody's really going to, I think, ask for their money back because I have that image in there twice. Those images in there twice. Okay, so we have those guys. Now who comes next? I have, oh, you're another upside down one. Okay, so we're going to set you aside. I knew I had two of them upside down. All right. I like you guys together. You're my inside. So you're my inside. You're my outside. Oh my glory, this is so complicated. Because some of them have color, a lot of color on them, and some of them are more black and white. And I like, like I really like these two blue images. Hmm. Okay, and I've got some brown images. Okay, this is where I think having the paper in between, although, now, see, I like that, but I don't, I want to have, I'd rather have an image, I'd rather have a unicorn over there. 
Which unicorn do I want? I want that unicorn there. I know, I'm changing my mind about what goes in the center. Because I like the drips. So I like that together. Okay, let's throw in this really pretty. You didn't know that when you got started on this that it was going to be so hard to put the journal together because there's so many pretty pictures. So I have that piece that goes together. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this piece together. I can rearrange that. I can just fold that this way so that now you go together there. And when I put you in here, you fit. Okay. I really like you. But do I want you here in the, next to these guys? See, when I printed front and back, I really didn't pay attention to what I was doing. And I probably should have. This is more me than it is the designer. The designer did a great job on putting these together. I'm having a terrible time figuring out what I want to put with what. Okay, I think I want another piece of coffee dyed here. When you watch Gail Agostinelli put together her signatures, she always has a she has a pattern. She has a specific pattern that she uses. Obviously, I do not. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Because I think I might have I might have this. So here's going to be that's going to be a pocket. And then we have those unicorns. And then this. Oops, and then I have two of you together, and I don't know if I want the two of you together. So let's throw in a pink. Is that too much? A pink might be too much. We may change that out. We're going to leave it for now. I like that. This looks good. This looks good. Okay, there's no unicorn there, but there is there. I like these guys. There's my center. Coming back out, we have these. And this. And this. Okay, what does it look like on that side? See, on that side, I like it. So we may, I don't know, we'll see what we're going to do there. I don't know if I, I like the two of them together, but I don't know if I really want them to be together. And then we have this. And then that. I don't like the pink. We're going to put in this piece. But... Okay, now I could put in more. I don't even know how many pages I have. We should probably count up the number of pages we have. I can tell you how many images there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're up to twelve pages. And I can go as high as 20, but I think I, I like 12. I, used, I, I For a long time, I only did 10, but I've been doing 12 lately. Okay, let's take one more look through. So one. Oops, but keep in mind that's together. So that's one. Two. Three. I'm counting unicorns. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So you have 16 pages of unicorns. Because I did front and back. So 16 pages of unicorns in this kit. This is a huge kit. All right, I think I like that. I think we are set on our signature. 
I'm going to be working on this journal. It's probably going to be two parts. Um, we will see how this goes, but now you have seen the signature. What I can do really quick while I'm sitting here talking to you is fold up my piece. And I, I used to try to do this with a scoreboard. I don't do scoreboard in vellum anymore. All it does is split the vellum. Um, I discovered that the hard way. So I do not do that with my vellum anymore. And this is a very, very pretty, very easy pocket to make. And so I'm just folding my pieces in and I'm folding them by hand rather than measuring anything because the lines are there. So you're just following the lines. What I have here is a slit for this to go into and that I'm going to use my X-Acto knife because there's no way I'm going to get a scissors into that. So let's try this here. I'm just going to come down along that line. This is a brand new blade on my X-Acto knife, so it's nice and sharp. out that little hole. Let's see how I did. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and use a little bit of walnut stain around the whole thing. Just to there is, like I said, a bit of, there is an outline that you can follow, so that makes it easy, but um, when you cut it, I don't, I'm not a very good cutter sometimes, and I don't always cut on my lines like I should, so I, be, I make a bit of a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and walnut stain the whole thing. Vellum is kind of tricky to use sometimes, but I like it for the look that it gives. And you know what? I'm also going to do this around the edge a little bit. There. Sorry, my holder keeps falling over. All right, let me grab my fabric tack, and we're just going to do a very simple line up along here. And I'm going to smoosh it so it doesn't look like I have a whole line. I am not actually adding Fabri-Tac here. I'm just smooshing my other one. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Put a line up and then smoosh it. Smoosh. I think it's a that's a technical term, isn't it? Smooshing it. There. Now once that dries it won't be quite so obnoxious and I can always add a little bit of lace to it or something to cover it up if I don't like how it looks. And then that can just tuck right in there. There we go. And now I have a little envelope that will very nicely fit into the journal. All right, for today, I think I'm going to call this particular piece done. Um, I will be working on this journal, like I said, for the next couple of videos, and I will probably release them all on the same day so that you can see the whole process all at once. In the meantime, if you are enjoying this, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and let me know if you're liking it by hitting the like button. That, that, that's good for my ego. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.